Surprisingly, the shotguns might just be the worst class in zombies, but one attachment might fix it all. And that attachment is the 12 gauge slug. So let's go ahead, hop in and see if it makes them any better. I haven't used the shotguns in this game since literally launch day. And I was very underwhelmed by the damage they were putting out. And normally when you're using slugs on a shotgun, it's mainly just to go for like your long shot kills. Like whenever that was a challenge in MW2. And normally you wouldn't really use slug rounds in zombies because as you can see here, they are very inaccurate unless you're aiming down sights with it. And shotguns are mainly a hip fire weapon. But from what I've been told, when you pack a punch it, you get to keep your slug damage, but you get better hip fire accuracy. I still keep the same crosshair, it seems, but I'm actually hitting the zombies hip firing. That's pretty nice. Haymaker seems to be a little bit better with it being semi-auto, but I'm still gonna pack a punch this one too, because we need to get camos for both of these and our last shotgun after this that I'm not remembering the name for. Well, let's go ahead and find a contract so we can start this up. I'll do an outlast. I ain't scared. Now, since we are doing this outlast in a tier two zone, we should be getting at least some manglers and some disciples. I'm curious to see how this does against some elites because the biggest knock against the shotguns in this game is they don't do a whole lot of damage compared to shotguns in other games. Like in Cold War, the Hauer and the Gallo were like both competing for some of the best weapons in the game. And it seems like the shotguns in this game are just terrible. So I'm hoping the slugs have a big impact on that. Let's start it up and see. Bring me some elites. I want all the smoke. Oh, there's a mangler right there. That's a three shot kill. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, and there's already our 250 kills. What? Have I used this gun before? I wouldn't have got all these guns leveled up in shipment, but I must have used this one before. I swear it was like the, the full auto one I used. The one that looks like an M4. Oh, look at the range on this now. This is crazy. Slugs are actually the way to go on this. Not only are we getting the extra damage, but the accuracy at range while hip firing is so much better. Is that a disciple? Not anymore. It's not. This thing's kind of tearing. Oh, there's a 250 hip fire kills. Let's go. The 250 kills with electric damage. Oh, we need our jackrabbits. I have not been paying attention to those at all. Maybe I should. I gotta put the range on this gun to use so we can get some kills without taking damage. And there's a jackrabbit medal right there. Just about nine more of those and we'll be good to go on this gun. This gun's basically a sniper, just like way safer to use. How do I not have this camo yet? I haven't been touched. I'm debating just switching to the haymaker and using that. But I've been using this gun for like the entire game i still don't have all my jackrabbit kills somehow i'm starting to think it's bugged but normally when i start bitching about camos is when they start getting unlocked so i'll give it like a, a few more minutes i guess or maybe the camo already popped up like a long time ago and i just didn't notice that's also a possibility oh there it is i just had to bitch a little bit more about it now we can start using this I'm already not too sure about this one. Maybe this one didn't need slugs because this isn't doing the most amount of damage. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this is like a multi-shot kill on these zombies, even at Pack-A-Punch 2 and Rare Rarity. Okay, this one we might have to reevaluate. At least we don't need jackrabbits with this one. But the five kills in 10 seconds is not looking that possible unless we go to tier one. But we also need 250 kills in the tier two zone. So let me try to get these first. But this is very disappointing with slugs. I actually might have made this one worse. I'm kind of scared to use it for the Riveter. Because what if it don't help it out at all? It worked great for the Lockwood 650. This one's just kind of ass. It seems like it's taken years for us to get 250 kills with it. It's taken six to seven shots per armored zombie to take them down. Even a few shots on each Hellhound. Maybe even three. This is making Pack-A-Punch 2 feel like not even Pack-A-Punch. I thought this was going to be the easy shotgun considering it's basically fully automatic. I was dead wrong. I only got 10 minutes left in this game. Do we even have any camo? for this yet? I'm about ready to exfil and come in here with the next shotgun. Oh, there's 250 kills. There's our four perks active. There's our kills in a high threat zone. And I don't think we're gonna get our kills within seconds. We have to save that for next game. We won't be able to get Golden Enigma on both of these this game, which is very unfortunate. At least this shotgun's nasty. We got that going for us. And okay, we finished our event. We need to get the fuck out of here. Figure out what the hell's going on with this gun. All right, we have got an X-Fill over here and a tier one spore contract on the way there. Mermaid man sitting here on the invisible boat mobile. Doesn't even do anything to Mercs. This thing's useless. But maybe if we do this tier one spore contract, we might be able to get our 10 kills within five seconds and then still get gold on our way out here. All right, does this do well against tier one zombies at least? Okay, it one shots them. We're on the right track here. This is so much better. All I needed was weaker zombies. Oh, there it is, finally. Okay, let's get out of here. Damn, what a nightmare. Why does the slug work so well on one shotgun but not the other? Okay, we safely made it out and I think we got gold on both of them. I don't see gold, where is it? And these are just the four camos for each weapon. 
Oh, there they are. Whew. And no way this made itself into a contraband item. Uh-uh. Destroy. I'm taking these off immediately. Do I even try the slugs with this? I feel like I should. Just to see if it's uh, just the haymaker thing. Why not? So we'll go with this build for the Riveter. All right, Riveter. Please do not be bad with the slugs. Because after our 250 kills with this, we need to get 10 kills within 5 seconds with this gun as well. We also need to get 250 kills with fire damage. And we need to kill 10 manglers. But we can also test out this haymaker build. I want to see if it was the slug is holding it back. All right, well. Well, this will be a test. Here's our first tier two zombies. Oh no. At least this is full auto. We can kind of melt through the zombies like this. It's looking a bit better than the haymaker did. But that's not saying a whole lot. Oh no. Maybe the slugs literally only work for one shotgun or any shotgun that isn't fully automatic. Maybe we can take out the disciple though. Oh, we're just tickling them. The tonfas do so much more damage than this. I could melee this disciple to death. I'm not even touching the spore contract that I pinged. I'm taking slugs off these guns. There's no point. This disciple is taking more damage or more health from me than I can deal damage. I'm done. This is embarrassing. I got some bad info. I was catfished by a single shotgun. Why did they have to make the shotguns like the worst class? And why did I have to get fooled into thinking slugs made them better? Oh, we finally got our camo. I say finally, but we got that way faster than we did for the Haymaker. So now we just need our 250 kills with fire damage. And then, oh, there it is. Speak of the devil. Now we just need to go mangler hunting. So let's kill these spores and go do that. Let's go do an escort contract. And I've had people tell me that for this escort contract, we can get unlimited manglers if we just stay away from it. So I'll just leave the escort until we see one mangler spawn. And then I'll try to back away from it. Because I'm still worried that the zombies are just going to still go for the escort regardless if i'm near it or not and then they'll just blow it up and end the contract then we'll get even less mangler kills and have to go find another one okay there's a mangler down there let's stay away from the escort and we'll see if we get multiple off of this because we're gonna need nine more of these bad boys i'm not seeing like really any spawns at all who's out here lying ain't no way that's a strategy you guys use unlimited manglers it's not even unlimited zombies i'm gonna give it like another minute or two just in case i need to be patient all right well Let's get him moving. I see a single mangler after the one we killed. Tier 2 Outlast contracts got more manglers. There's not even another mangler. I'm done with escort contracts. They're butt cheeks. They never spawn in manglers when I need them. Oh, wait. There's one right here. See, look. Complaining and stuff happens, but two manglers per however long that contract was, not worth it. I'm going to go do a bounty so I have enough money to get this to pack three. And then I'm going to do a tier two outlast. And maybe our bounty will be a mangler. Even though I've heard people say that the bounties, like the elites that spawn from them, don't count towards camos. But I feel like I've gotten a camo done by killing a, an elite from a contract. Oh, it's a disciple. So I guess it won't matter anyways. If only I was going for mimics because there's just two random mimics wandering around here trying to beat my ass. Holy shit. This does absolutely nothing to this disciple. And he just health stole me for all the damage I already did to him. These guns are a fucking joke, man. I'm gonna have to nade him. Now he's just up here fucking wave dashing. Why are you so high in the air? This is fucked up. You're lucky I got slugs to even reach you. And now he's flying across the map. He's fucking 70 meters away. 80 meters, 90, 100. Where are you going? What the fuck? This is ridiculous, dude. 200 meters away. He said, fuck this. I'm leaving. He's not even on my map anymore. He's gone. Yeah, he just fucking relocated. I'm canceling this boo-boo ass contract. There's no way, dude. I only have 12 minutes left to somehow get eight more manglers. I hear a mangler though. The sweet sound of camo progress. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. What the fuck cruel world am I living in? And you only drop armor. Sweet. All right, you follow me till I find some ammo, sir. Oh, there's some. Thank God. There we go. That's three. And we need a bust ass. I have to do this contract to get enough to get pack three. We got to hurry up and deliver this shit. Get all the way to the pack much machine in this here three zone and do an outlast contract. That way we can kill seven more manglers before we get out of here. Nice. There's a fucking convoy in the way. Anything else? Maybe a meteor shower to stop me? That'd be cool. Oh my god. My driving isn't helping either. SpongeBob fucking drives better than this. God damn it. 
There's no way, dude. The mix between being this unlucky and being this fucking stupid hurts. I don't even think the camo curse exists anymore. I'm in camo hell. And I just tried another bounty and it's another fucking disciple. No chance. You know, it's fucked up when I was doing all the act missions where I needed to kill like a mangler, a mimic, and a disciple from these contracts, from these bounties. I didn't get a disciple almost the entire game until the last minute. Now I'm only getting them. Please don't be a disciple. Please don't be a disciple. Mangler, okay. All right, mangler. Have some thermites. Enjoy that. And he's still taking these shots, but not as tanky as the disciple was. I need to get the fuck out of here. You come down here, sir. Oh, he's finally fucking dead. Holy shit. Is it even worth it to go grab pack three? We have two minutes and 40 seconds before the storm even starts coming in. There's a terminus camp right here. This is fucked up. Let me take this car. Fuck you guys. I'm out. We gotta at least try. Give me that. Um, is there any tier two outlast? Yeah, right here next to the storm. Great. That helps me out a lot. Oh, fuck, dude. Well, might as well test us against a tier three zombie for a second. Oh, what a surprise. It's ass. I could have just been doing escorts this whole time. There's an obvious joke there, but I won't make it. I'll be the bigger man. What a waste of fucking time. I'll just do as many escort contracts as I can before this game ends. Oh, we sniped a mangler. And the storm's rapidly approaching. Fuck. Any manglers want to show up before that happens? Any manglers want to show up before the storm eats me? Oh, no. It's right here. Come on. At least give me one more mangler, please. Oh, he's right here. Let's go. Oh, wait. I just saw another mangler shot somewhere. Let's go. Oh, and he's very strong out here in the storm. Not for long, though. Oh, uh, yep. Maybe for long. He's strong as shit. About to go down again. Not before I fuck him up. Okay, he's dead. I don't know if my shotgun killed him or if that little thunderbolt going off killed him. But either way, we need to get out of here. Uh, we need to try to figure out where final exfil is going to be. No, oh, no, I'm, I'm lost out here in the storm. Oh, fuck. I was not paying attention. Just drove into the fucking river over here. And we're in that tier three zone. I'm about to just swim down the river. Honestly, it might be safer. Fuck it. Why don't you come swim after me, zombies? And it's looking like final exfil is going to be somewhere over here. I'm stressed. If we didn't have PhD, we would have been dead so long ago. Shout out PhD, man. Oh, movement disabled on my vehicle? No, at least we're right by the edge of the storm. Can we outrun it? I don't think so. Oh, wait, yes, we can. Let's go. We might actually make it out of this. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to have to come back with this gun. And I'm taking the slugs right the fuck off it. Take off, cocksucker. I'm the only one left. Go. Okay. We made it out of the game. We still need three more mangler kills. So I think that HVT did count. All right, well, let's go knock those out, I guess. I'm so fucking stupid. I didn't remove the slugs. I just went right into the next game. I will. Just three manglers and 100 kills and we're out. There's a mangler right off the bat. Please die. There you go. Oh, now we're getting manglers. What the fuck is the deal with me not getting it the first time around? We've already gotten two manglers in this contract. Every other time, it's been two manglers for the entire contract. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I am. And this might be our last mangler. There we go. Show me the camo, please. Beautiful. All right, let's get our 100 kills and let's get out of here. Oh, here's our fourth mangler for this one contract. This game loves watching me suffer. There's some dev out there that just controls what spawns in for me. He makes sure he checks all my camo progress and all my challenges beforehand. I'm putting my tinfoil hat on. All right, hopefully we got enough kills for gold. I'm almost positive we do, but the way today has been going, pretty good chance we don't. Oh, we got it. Thank God. Now we can start working on Zircon scale. We just need to get 300 pack-a-punch kills with each of these shotguns. I'm taking slugs right the fuck off of it. And let's throw a crystal on this one. By the time we get 300 kills on this, we should have enough to pack-a-punch our haymaker. This is the real attachment that makes this weapon insane. Fucking insta-kill. With insta-kill, it's kind of nasty. Oh, there's our Zircon scale. But before we finish this mission, I might have been harsh on the slugs. At least the slugs were one shot in these zombies. Slugs actually do make these guns better. They're just so shit that you can't tell. All right, our haymaker is pack-a-punched. And we'll do a spore control. And hopefully this will get us our 300 kills. Yeah, it's looking like all the shotguns were significantly better with slugs. Damn, these guns are ass. A pack-a-punch one shotgun should be able to one-shot zombies in this tier one zone, regardless of rarity. I mean, it kind of one-shots them you just have to be like right up in their mouth but the slugs gave you that little luxury of doing it from a range 
Oh, and there's our Zarkon scale. Let's fucking go. Let's get the fuck out of this game and actually use the one shotgun that's worth a damn. And we'll get our whole shotgun class done for now. The other shotguns can only dream as being as good as this one. Oh, we're finally done. My hell is over. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, let's fucking go, dude. All right, now that the pain is over, let's quickly look at our shotguns. This is our Lockwood 680 with Zircon skill on it. Beautiful gun. The best of the bunch. And now we look at the ass here. Here's our haymaker with Zircon skill on it. Shit ass gun. Fucking awful. I could throw rocks at zombies and it'd do more damage. And here is our riveter with Zircon scale. AR looking ass shotgun. Should have stayed an AR. Suck ass as a shotgun. But holy fuck, you guys were not lying. The shotguns are terrible. The slugs definitely do help out a bit. You'll get a little bit more damage, a little bit more damage range. But man, they are bad but this has gone on for way too long i gotta get out of here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later